What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you another money method. This time we are in the outskirts of Rhodes and as you can see there are already quite a few fish in front of me and we've only been here for about a minute but normally you would spawn in Rhodes and then go and travel that distance to where I am right now. This is where we will be doing the fishing method but if you want to arrive in Rhodes with no problems whatsoever go and spawn in St. Denis, sorry go and spawn in Tumbleweed and then fast travel all the way over to Rhodes. Unfortunately, St. Denis is too close, so you're probably still going to have a similar amount of people in the lobby. But as you can see, there is quite a few people all the way around. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, did not mean to do that. I've done way too many. Uh, but yeah, all you want to do is come to this location just here, and there you'll get a lot of different fish spawning and I I don't know why I just got that award to go and spend but even me just waiting here what you have is largemouth bass just sort of beaching themselves and I can go around and pick them up and that will happen a lot and you can do this method a couple of different ways the first way is that you can get your fishing rod out and just do some normal fishing in this area just here just in this corner beside the rocks you can get some large mouth bass and that is actually pretty decent because those go for two dollars you'll also get some lake sturgeons as you can see one over there but you can just do some normal fishing just go and chuck your fishing rod in and then just reel it in to a point of where there are the fish and you should be able to go and pick yourself up a couple of different fish now i didn't do that quick enough uh, but we should be able to go and get one there we go and i think we get ourselves a pickle you could do it that way or another way you can do it and uh, we haven't done this in quite a while and it used to be the way that i prefer i didn't like doing any fishing whatsoever until um it was actually a uh, redfin picker i think i might have said chain picker i'm not too uh, not too sure but uh, we used to do it quite a lot i didn't like doing fishing any other way i thought fishing was boring i'm actually starting to enjoy fishing a bit which is kind of weird but you could just run around and fish will beach themselves at some point if, if you can get into a good angle and i think that fish it's right on the edge can you swim up swim up swim how are you still swimming but yeah you can go and try and get these to beach themselves by running back and forth in this little area right here another way to do it is if they aren't beaching themselves you can just shoot them and shooting uh, it does scare them sometimes but sometimes you'll get a fish like this that's just staying there and you can just shoot and that actually scared the other one and then made them <laughs> wait is that two <laughs> that one actually worked out really well because uh, i shot one and that will be a two star fish but the other two fish got scared and then ended up beaching themselves so i could go around and pick them up but the the large mouth bass that's two star that was the one that i shot so you can do that as well if you are going to shoot fish normally what happens is it scares the other fish in this location because it's kind of tight and in the corner it doesn't matter too much but this open location right here as you can see there are a ton of fish it's a bit harder to deal with because they all just disperse into the open water, making making it a lot harder to go and get the fish. Now, we are looking to see if we can go and get ourselves a lake sturgeon. And there's one just in front of us, and it, it's in a bit of a difficult position because it does mean that we are going to have to reel this one in. Unfortunately, we can't shoot it. If you go and try and shoot it, it will go and kill itself out there. This one's a bit closer, so this one might be a bit better. But um, if, if you was to go and shoot it, uh, it's going to be in some deep water and you then need to go and swim to go and get it. And if you didn't know, you can't swim and also pick up fish. Now, unfortunately, have I done it? Get the... the that went a bit weird don't know why that went weird i think i reeled that in way too quick and i can't okay there we go there we go it wasn't letting me chuck uh, chuck uh, my line out so i want to try and get this uh this lake sturgeon here and it's in a difficult position because i've actually first off i've chucked my fishing uh, fishing line in the complete wrong place and also also we might actually be in a good position where we can shoot it so uh, i'm gonna go and bring this in and it's right there and it doesn't we're too far out no but as you saw as i shot the the lake sturgeon there it scared the other fish around it so we should be able to go and get that one so this area isn't too bad to go and shoot lake sturgeons a lake sturgeon is only one star it actually uh despite me shooting and um it not actually killing it it did somehow damage the lake sturgeon which is unfortunate but you can get lake sturgeon in this area 
Uh, the other one, I think, was a bit too far out, so we're not going to be able to go and get that one. Unless it's actually changed, uh, changed position. Uh, but we'll go and get our fishing rod out, and we'll go and quickly see what else is around here. Uh, so we've got largemouth bass. Largemouth, uh, largemouth bass is probably the best one to be going for. You get quite a few of them. You should be able to go and fill your satchels worth, uh, like a full satchel. Uh, and from that, you'll be able to go and get $20, which is pretty good. Lake Sturgeon, you're only going to be able to go and get one. Uh, but that will still go for, I think, $7, is it? Might be $8. I'm trying to remember. I can't really remember. My, my memory is pretty get, uh, pretty bad with, uh, with prices. So there's some fish there. And that one should be scared, and there we go. So I'm gonna go and pick these ones up, and then we're gonna go and head back to uh, to the to the butcher. There's also steelhead trout. I haven't caught too many steelhead trouts in this area, but we managed to go and get two in a row, and those are actually very good as well because those will be going for two dollars and fifty cents at either two star or three star. One star, I think they go for about a dollar. Most fish that are one star go for about a dollar. Um, but that's, that's still pretty decent, still decent money that you can uh, definitely use to go and buy yourself some stuff in Red Dead Online. Now, we're going to travel all the way back to Rhodes. It's not going to be too long of a journey, uh, but I'll be back once I get to the butchers. Okay, so we are back at the butchers already. It did not take too long to travel that distance. It really does. It takes about 40, maybe 50 seconds, somewhere around there. And in that time... Um, sorry, not in that time, but we spent about, what, five or six minutes in that location, and in that time, this is what we managed to go and get ourselves on uh, on this game right here, uh, which is actually pretty decent. We actually had a poor steelhead trout. I don't know why it was poor. I feel like I only shot it once, um, but I think we do have a decent one, which is at $2.50. But these are the types of fish that you'll be getting in this location, which is actually pretty decent. If I was to do this method for real, as always, I would have spent maybe like 15, 20 minutes over there, and in that time, I probably would have got a full satchel of say uh, I think largemouth bass definitely would be able to go and get that and probably redfin uh, pickerel which uh, would be going pretty pretty decent amount of money from both of those at a full satchel we've got about $30 and then uh, still head trouts normally I'll probably get like three or four as you can see there wasn't too many over there and then we would have had a lake sturgeon as well and unfortunately that is poor but if we had a good quality one I think that goes for about seven dollars maybe six dollars I might be wrong it might even be eight dollars I'm it's, it's, it's just hard for me to remember all these prices for all these fish. But you can actually go and get a second horse and take that over there as well. I don't think there's too many trees to go and hitch it. So you're going to have to just risk it and just let the horse be free. But you can go and get two leg sturgeons and also go and put that on the other horse. And go and put one on your horse. And then ride back the other horse to the butcher to go and sell everything. But I'm going to go and sell everything right now. We're not going to be making too much money as I didn't do this method for real. We only spent a couple minutes over there but that is pretty decent amount of money but anyway guys that is the method that i'm currently using in red dead online i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to so see ya